Hi anyone, and welcome to the next episode of Minecraft on the Eons SMP, where we've been working on our old west town, and we're going to turn it into a horse race track. We started out this project last time by building this starter home over in the distance, and that's great. It houses our materials and as well as a place to like, set our spawn and go to sleep, and it's good. Then we made this barn or a stable because it houses horses, so it's called a stable. It's different, and you know, it's a little different. Um, which is, is a cool shape. It's just a nice barn shape and it has these sections on the sides to house the horses. So that, that's the stable bit. And we got some really good horses. This one's really fast and it's, it's got some good jumping skills and you know, it, it's, I'm doing some breeding. We're, we're going to get some better horses, but, um, yeah, that's it. No, you stay, you stay inside. Um, uh, but yeah, that's, that's the stable. That's the barn. So that's the first build that we have for the town. But what's next? What do we have to add? Because this area, they can't just have one stable and call it a town. We need to have more things and more ambiotic features. And I think that is going to call for a saloon. So that's going to be the next build. And we need to make a foundation for it, which is going to go over on this hill, which isn't a great hill because it cuts off really abruptly. Uh, so we might have to do some terraforming, which is fine. It's just a little inconvenient in this eon because once again, we are on the Eons S&P, so we, we are stuck in the ancient era, so we're using bronze slash stone tools and everything, so it is a little slow. But we are working, we are doing things quickly and efficiently, so we're going to build a foundation for us to build our saloon on, and I think it's going to be rather large, so it's going to be, I think like 17 by 25-ish is what I'm thinking. Uh, I don't know the exact number off the top of my head, um, but it's going to be big, so let's get to building. Here's a foundation for the build that we have in place and it's going to be a saloon so it's really just a big open room that we have the, that's the floor plan um so that, that this is what i would like to do when i'm designing a building is figure out like what kind of floor plan that i need to do and it's basically a blueprint and i'll do basically a, a shape like this with um some sort of concrete color and it, w it would make the, the design for the rooms and everything but since this is just going to be a big open room uh, I didn't really have to do much. It, it, it's really simple. It's just a rectangle, which is 19 by 21, including the corners. And we have a doorway here that we would have for people to come in and out. And then we have a little bit of a fire fireplace here. That's that's all that we're having for our depth to the build other than the roof. Um, so like we, we don't have too much depth with this build. So we have to rely on other things to give it some vibe, some cool things. So we're going to have that. We're going to have it with the roof and the fireplace and as well as we're going to have a big sign on it saying it's a saloon because how else would people know what is here other than there being a sign to like describe it. But the next step is in this endeavor is going to be the rest of the masonry. So like we have the masonry, masonry meaning like stool or stonework. Um, so we can we can do the rest of that by finishing the fireplace and then we're going to work on the walls after that and this and that and then this and that but i think we're going to do it one step at a time so uh it is first sleep time then fireplace time so time to sleep not time to sleep yet not time to sleep yet it's still not time to sleep there it is ah fireplace in I think it's a good time to talk about proportionality because this is the first thing that is dictating any sort of height with the build so uh we we can change this as we go if we if I feel like it needs to be any taller or shorter but I kind of matched it with this build because this is what's already here so we, we kind of need this to dictate the other builds that are in the area because we don't want something to be to be 
too big or too small in relation to the other things. So th this is pretty much going to be the same size as this. It's a little smaller in width, but a little longer in depth. Uh, so, you, you know, it, it should be around the same size. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go about this height on the wall. So I think it's going to be seven blocks tall on the, the height. Um, I might change it a little. And then it's going to be a gable roof. So meaning like a triangle roof, but it's going to be rather wide. So just think of it like that. Then um, we're going to have it continue going up and just have that sign that we talked about earlier, the saloon sign. And that's going to be rather cool. It's going to be rather easy. It's going to be using this oak and dark oak palette. So that, that's um, rather simple stuff to get. So um, I'm going to do a little wood chopping and then add the wall. So let, let's get to it. So I added the walls. I forgot to record, which is whatever. It's just some walls. It's just oak going up. And then you just add some spacing. You do every odd spacing that you can do for your things. So I did a five block space, then I added a brace and a seven block space and added a brace. And then this is a five block space to match that. So it, it, it works um, symmetrically. So it's a nice symmetric build. I, I like that for it. Not everything needs to be symmetric, um, but in this case, it is. Well, it's not because there's a chimney on one side, but not the other. Uh, so I didn't make it symmetric because I'm that I'm quirky like that, you know, um, but <laughs> we got to do the rest of the build because we added these walls. We have the framing in for the roof and everything so we, we just got to finish the details and add the roof so let's get to it saloon saloon i added an enya to the end just to make it all fit in the same like kind of font but uh you know, I, I don't know how happy I am with that, but you know, I, I could just take it off, but then it wouldn't be the same height. And uh, you know, it, I prefer this, um, but it gets the point across. It's a saloon. Um, I haven't done the furnishing yet, but we, this is the interior with the roof on. It's nothing too different than what it was before, but it's enclosed. And then I added these light fixtures and added more lights to the floor. Just so make sure anything didn't spawn. But then for the roof, it's all half slabs. So it goes half slab down one half slab up one um so that's pretty much it and then it meets in the middle let's go into free cam just to make it easier to see um but yeah that's that's how basic it is for the roof and the walls and everything it's just a box and then you you make the roof connect and it, it all encloses and, you, and you're good um but yeah this is a facade for the saloon i don't know if we're gonna do the interior it doesn't seem necessary because it's really a facade for a horse race so it, I might do some chairs outside. Uh, I don't know. Um, we'll see at the end of the episode if I'm feeling up to it. But we're going from this project to the next thing, which is going to be a church on this hill. And it's kind of close to a saloon. I don't know how close they would put a church and a saloon. Um, that might be a little more thought to city planning than just putting things everywhere. But um, I think it's going to be cool and it's going to look nice and be really big and grand and churchy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, but uh, we do need to get, rip out all these trees and flatten some land because it, 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 it needs it. it. It needs the space, um, but it's time to deforest. I cleared the hill and that got me a lot of birch and that's nice. I'm not really using much of it other than on the second floor um, for flooring and roofing and stuff. Um, but this is the area that we're going to have the church in. It's going to be rather large, which is cool, proportionate to the other things that we've built. Um, so it's going to have a bell tower as well as like one big hall for our congregation to meet. Then another side hall, which is going to be on like an angle. So we'll think of it like this. We're going to have a straight hall, then a side hall going on an angle, and then a tower right at the front. So that's going to be the vibe. If you can imagine it from that description, good for you. Um, but we're going to do it step by step like we did with the saloon, where we're going to do the foundation first, then we're going to add walls and the roof and details and things like that. So we'll do it step by step and begin with the foundation. Our church now has a stone foundation with our spruce wood floor, which it's pretty easy. It, it was really just a matter of getting our shapes and figuring out where we wanted them to connect, be put together. So like we, we will go into free cam 
and we'll see the shapes that we were working with. So we have this hall. This is where the main congregation meets. And then we have this kind of angled um, building. This is another shape, another rectangle that we we went with, and it's on an angle. It is a little bit like a not a perfect rectangle because this wall and this wall are at different angles, but it just kind of works with the way the final building is going to work out. And then we have this square um, that we kind of incorporated to be a bell tower. So it's like three different shapes that we're working with and then a little bit of a um, patio or like walkway to enter. And then we have an exit up in the back side. So it's just a, a kind of like for safety reasons, it, it kind of works so well. And then um, that's pretty much it for the foundation. I might do some terraforming and like kind of fill this in and like a bunch of dirt movement. Um, but um, I think it's fine the way it is. This allows us to do the changes that we want to do without like, I don't know. It's not a big waste. It's just some stone. Um, so the next step is actually to add some walls and we're going to use two, um, two thick walls so we can do some stuff with the windows and then we're going to do some fancy things with some fencing and things like that. So the, the walls are the next step. Let's do it. I kind of got a little carried away with building and I kind of finished the whole thing, <laughs> which is it's a good problem to have is there's worse problems to have in this world and especially in a Minecraft world, um, like houses burning down or something. Uh, but let's take a look at the church from free cam where we can get like an aerial view. And what do you first notice when you take a look at this build? I think it's probably this tower or this window set here. Uh, to me, it's this tower, which it has these guiding like rails up for your eyes to follow and then it, it like kind of locks either on the bell or the roof here because it's like the darkest point um and that just has the most contrast so that, yeah, that's kind of what like my eyes focus on then we have this cross at the top which is a cool shape and a cool feature it just kind of shows you that it's a church then with the roof i really like the shape of it with the it's all full block so i'm not using any slabs or stairs to make the shape any like more like fluid so this is a pretty pretty good shape in my opinion like a per pretty good flow for having all full blocks except for like this little bit here um and we go down we have our gold bell which i'm using like <laughs> gold rather than like an actual minecraft bell because we don't have access to bells yet maybe in the future we will and i might switch it out but probably not this looks great um then we have further down just more of the tower and um we'll just keep going around the build and like just showing it off we have more windows with different designs in them so I've been using fencing and uh, fence gates to like add designs to the windows because we don't have access to stained glass yet, which is fine. This is just adding like a different variation to make a design in the window and I, it worked out pretty well. So let me think, know what you think of the build and I'm going to go on and show you the interior that I've done so far, which isn't anything special. It's just like a little table here, some pews for the congregation to sit in. Hello, kitties. Um, a stage for the pastor to stand on, which we have here. Then we can look at the rest of the rooms for the offices and like where people can be housed if needed. Like we have a bunch of little rooms here. That's just, I divided this area up in this, um, like what it, there's like this rectangle into a bunch of little rooms. Then we have the staircase takes us up to the second floor where we have a balcony to like view the congregation. So over here. We also have a closet, which is like just another dividing like wall in this like second floor area. So it's it's nothing special. It's just like you split up the rooms to like house the windows that you want. So this is just a big room. This is probably where the pastor would live. And then he can also have access to the bell tower. So this takes us up to the highest point where we would be able to ring the bell. I don't have any way to ring the bell, but you know, make believe it's Minecraft. <laughs> so yeah, this is the church of i don't know what 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 should we name this town that's like the final question what should we name the old west town because i mean it's it, it's coming together it's a whole place you know if we take a look out here oh that's going backwards um <laughs> we can see like we have a whole we have like an actual town brewing we just need to connect it all with some pathways and like do some terraforming but i think i'm gonna do that next episode because uh i'm a little burnt out from all this building because i mean it's a lot of wood but it's still big builds we we're, we're working it out 
Uh, so yeah, in the future, I want to do some pathways, connect all these things together. Then we're going to add like a jail as well as a few more houses to this area. I do want to make like a uh, graveyard back here because this is like it should be connected to the church like right here. You know, that makes sense. Um, then uh, some gallows, just just some old west stuff. So if you can think of any old west stuff that I should add, let me know. And I'm going to see you in the future. So subscribe, like, comment. Thanks for all the like support. It's great. <laughs> I appreciate you.